welcome to the first ever episode of the Tech Bees. And this is, as you can probably tell by the title, going to be a retro review. A good way to start it off, isn't it? So we're going to start off with a retro review of the Sony Ericsson K600i. So this phone was really considered to be one of the best phones of, well really, I think four years ago. This was like the best phone out there, or one of the best phones out there. So for the time being, it was really slim. Yeah, not so much today, but it was pretty slim. Uh, so let's start with the review. So on the side here, you will find a little port here that was for syncing, but not for charging, as you as you as you find the ports today be. For syncing and charging, well, this one was only for syncing, and this was one of the rare phones to future syncing with a PC, so you could sync up your photos and videos and whatnot. Then here are two latches from remo for removing the back cover. We'll get to that in a minute, and a dedicated button for the front-facing camera. Yes, it did have a front-facing camera, which. Some devices now don't have a front-facing camera, and this have one. So obviously this was a beast of a phone back then. Uh, on the back side, it has a little camera door, actually. It slides on and off, and this can actually trigger the camera. And a flash. Also down here is the, Vo the Vodafone logo. As we come to the right-hand side of the device, we'll find the volume rocker, uh, the shortcuts button, in the snap a picture button so it had a camera button as well and I didn't mention but this is a 1.3 megapixel camera which back in the day was just amazing it was like unachievable and there's also the little speaker grill uh, on the top you have a power button for powering it on and off on the bottom you have a headphone jack and a charger also the little strap Thing, place whatever so as I told you the back cover comes off there you will find a 900 milliamp hour battery uh, underneath it is the SD card slot and pretty much there's nothing else the, sorry they didn't feature an SD card it's the SIM card slot and pretty much nothing else I well, just Clip this back together. This has been obviously used for a, for a number of years. So, on the kind of the lock screen, you can see the time. It's always there. I had to start and unlock. And this is kind of the like before they had live wallpapers. You had all well, this. Uh, so anyway, it's a. Uh, Sony Ericsson UI, so nothing pretty, nothing special, but still it has some pretty nice animations. Uh, I'm gonna get to that in a second, but now in the front, obviously, have your numbers and letters. If I can get it to focus. Had the numbers and letters, also a trackpad. So, excuse me, this is more of a joystick. I have two buttons for selecting. Uh, back button and a delete button. So let's unlock it. That was really one of the most advanced UIs back in the time. So now we're gonna go to the UI. So let me just switch to the UI viewing mode. Okay, so now we're back with the UI tour. So basically, these four buttons pretty much did everything on the phone, well, besides typing, obviously numbers out which is very nice they look pretty and everything that's cool uh, let's just delete that oh god there. so on the left hand side you had the calls where you could see your missed calls also answered dialed and missed calls pretty basic there you got a little battery indicator in the corner also the signal strength up here and your network in here I'm on MTS date and time below 
So here pretty much you had a couple of options. So let's start here. Oh god, this is not very convincing to nicely use. So you got WAP, which was like internet. Yeah. Also you had internet services, so let me just click that. So you had search. So now connection to the internet. So this was one of the very few phones that actually featured the internet connection. So actually right now we'll load up Google, but I won't really search anything because it just pops up like a normal search would. But it can load up websites very well. I've got just a very, very basic, no picture website. It will be okay, but if it's a very flashy website, it will not work. So this is cool, and you can actually check your email from here, of course. Uh, here you had enterta entertainment, which is actually really interesting. You had a media player. You've got, like, your carriers, like a menu, like horoscope and stuff. Games, video DJ, photo DJ, music DJ, remote control, record sound, and demo tour. Demo tour pretty much really demos your phone. Record sound, that's for a sound recorder. Remote control was, you could record re remote control other devices via Bluetooth. I really didn't get the hang of it, so I never really tested this out, but I'm guessing it's for that. Music DJ here, it's a very good program actually for inserting and creating music. I'm gonna actually show you a custom track I created before. Here we got Photo DJ for editing photographs. Nothing special, but still photo editing software. And this thing that was like amazing. Also for video. Now games you can download. Obviously, game I've got a bunch of games. I might make another video for gameplay of some of these. Let's go back over here. Had the camera. Let's open that up. Hands on video mode. We'll probably. Damn you, focus. Probably said I have to open up the lens cover. Oh yeah, open the lens cover. Slide it out, and you won't be able to see anything, I think. But still, we've got the dedicated camera button up here. Just snap it. It's really quick for the time being. It's a saving, and you could more or less delete it, but it's pretty cool. Got some settings. Basically, I've got picture size, shoot mode, basic things, night mode, also the light, which is very cool. Handy when you're shooting in pitch black dark situations, like me. Let me shoot now a picture in pitch black duck dark behind me, and go. And as you can see, the video light did absolutely nothing from the picture. It still looks horrible. So anyway, I'll just delete we also had video mode. Uh, it was decent quality, but still nothing special. Let's turn on the light. You got timer and a couple more options. So that's it as far as the camera goes. Now let's see. Let's put it down. Uh, so messaging, nothing special there. Simple messages, inbox. That's where you could actually set up your email. You receive actually email. Uh, radio, when you plug in your headset, a really decent radio. File manager, this is where pictures, videos, and sounds were stored. And I promised I would show you some things that I created, and this is the best I could create with the music DJ. So let's listen. And, and so on. So that was a cool feature, I guess, of the phone. And you've got just plenty of things here. So nothing really special. There are themes. Themes. That's where it gets interesting. You can actually customize this phone with a bunch of themes. And this one is the pendulum theme with those things. Contacts. Very basic. I don't want to reveal any numbers. Uh, video call. This is where it gets really interesting. Front facing camera. Oh god. Hi, I'm trying to wave to you. Hi, yeah. Whatever, so that's the front facing camera capabilities of this phone. So you could actually video chat with this. It was like amazing back four years ago. It was like, it had a front facing camera? What the fuck? And then, let's go back. Uh, 
so that's actually what this dedicated shortcut was for. You hold it down and it access the front facing camera. Uh, moving on, here you had the video call button, obviously you had your calls. You've got your organizer, you got alarms, applications, calendar, tasks, notes, synchronization, timer, stopwatch, light, calculator, pretty much nothing special there. And you had the settings panel. Really a bunch of settings here. Take a look at them now. Nothing special, nothing to be like, wow. It had infrared port as well. So that was really cool. And one last thing was this. Which is when you hold down this button here for a lot of for some time, it pops up with shortcuts. So I should have light, notes, calculator, radio, main menu, record sound, turn on, and so on. And actually you could create a new shortcut. And you could put a shortcut to pretty much anything in the pretty much anything. Okay. Let's see. To settings, for example, you could put a shortcut to language. Select the phone language and shortcut. So that's how you set up a shortcut, and now it's here in your shortcut bar. Also, if you slide to the left, you had new events. There was messages, texts, well, okay, everything. Here you've got your favorite games. Sorry, your favorite websites. Also, if you were to push this to the left, you could have write new text message. It actually had picture message and voice message. That was really cool. Slide up, you got a calendar. Uh, left is the inbox, and down are the contacts, and I just won't do that because I don't want to reveal anybody's number. So, let's see, text input, messaging, write new, text message, and basically text input, nothing special, just input text, like you would, and any old device. So, anyway, this device back in the day was just a screamer. And today, for somebody who's not a smartphone guy, well, this device would be a very good pick. I mean, if you really aren't that much into tech, this device could really, really be for you. So, my name is Ivan, and I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough or review, retro review of the Sony Ericsson K600i. And let me boot it off with a nice animation for you. Okay, so that's it pretty much. And I'll see you in the next video. And there will be like a little video that introdu an introductory video that says like who I am, what am I going to do with the channel. And so on. I hope you enjoyed and goodbye.